game. No way. Yeah, right. No, it hey, was. Hey, Connie and Amanda, are you going to watch the magic show tonight? <laughs> no! The magic slash comedy yeah. hour. And we were trying to figure out because everyone had a British accent. Okay. So it's like, why are there no Americans on the show? Because we don't care about magic tricks. No, they were in England. <laughs> <laughs> they were in England. Ugh. And I bet it's top 10 TV show of the summer. It's that good. It's that good. Give it one more week. I said to Elizabeth uh, yesterday, uh, she had her hair. She got out of the shower, and her hair was all. You know how when you go get your hair cut, and they wash your hair, yeah. and then you're looking at the mirror, and you're like, oh, I should just do this. And mm-hmm. you say that as a joke because your hair looks ridiculous. Mm-hmm. She had ridiculously poofy hair, mm-hmm. and I said, your hair looks great. We need to make this your new look. And she says, Good night, Dad. <laughs> <laughs> she knew she knew I was kidding. Connie and Curtis on Channel 957. Good lord, Curtis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I don't know what is worse. Hearing it the first time or hearing it again <laughs> with you right here. You being all excited about the magic show. The magic show is a great show. Uh, uh I'm a little worried though, because I said it would be top ten summertime show. Mm-hmm. Sharknado 2 set the bar very high. <laughs> How many people watched Sharknado? 3.9 million really? people. Really? No, Wasn't it like 2 million last time? It was, yeah, 1, 1 million watched it the first time. Okay. And then, uh, less than that, really. And then uh, like 9 million over the course of last right. summer because every the, there was a buzz. I can't believe that was a year ago. Isn't that nuts? Yeah, it does not seem like Doing a year the ago. Old, maybe it wasn't a year ago. Might have been in spring. It was, because it was, it was Shark Week. So it was, this it was past spring. spring. It was this past spring. <laughs> I was going to say, that was the fastest year I've ever experienced. Yeah, that was not a year. Hmm. So uh, about 4 million people watched Sharknado 2. Wow. Sharknado 1, initial release, July 11th, 2013. About a year ago. Okay, about a year about ago. About a year ago <laughs> is when that the was on. The fastest year in the history <laughs> of my life. Or spring. You know, could have been spring break. Could have been Shark Week. That was last it year. Yeah, it says July 11th, 2013. That's crazy. Wow. That is Almost crazy. exactly a year ago. That is nuts, because that seems like that was sooner or closer in time. Sooner and closer. Both. <laughs> Both of those things, Both right? Both sooner and closer. Yeah. And it, it wasn't. It was a year ago. <sighs> Think of all the things that have happened in a year. I did not watch it. The Sharknado 2. No. What has happened in a I. year? Just a lot of things. So many things. I know. You see, there was a real-life shark uh, not a NATO, just a shark. The swimming. hammerhead shark. The hammerhead who swam right up uh, in Florida, right, right up to the beach. Doo-doo. I told you when I lived there on the news every night, they would show hundreds of sharks around yes. and amidst the swimmers, and we didn't like it. That's creepy. But we didn't care. And then we'd go there at night and swim. And the guy who was videotaping was yelling, "Shark! Shark! Yeah. Get out of the water! Shark!" Nobody was moving. No. <laughs> well, that's kind of like. Would you Doo-doo. believe that? I mean, you would think somebody was just joking around, it's like me. yelling, yelling fire in a You yell shark, and I'm in a body of salt water. Yeah. I'm running as even, fast as I can. Even Lake Michigan? That's not salt water. There's zero salt. Zero salt. In Lake Michigan. Right. If I yell shark. So I would not run. I feel like yelling shark at a beach is the same as yelling fire in a theater. You shouldn't do it. I agree. So Unless. There's a shark. Yes. But a hammer, I mean, it's not like the jaws is going to come and eat everybody. Well, they say that, you know, sharks don't try to kill people. They're no. not intend. That's not their intention. No. But they do anyway, so you don't know if a hammerhead's going to hammer you. They bite you. And right. then they leave mm-hmm. normally. They might bite you, Sometimes but they're only going to bite you. They drag you under. Did you not see Jaws? I saw Jaws, but that's that's a movie. Yeah, I know, but it's based on a real life story. It is not. <laughs> <laughs> it is not. Uh, it's based on a bunch of real life stories. Right. <laughs> you know that was a fake shark. No kidding. Yeah, it wasn't even really? real. I have a I have an update on my day drinking with Amanda yesterday. Oh. She didn't come. I told you. Well, I could for tell good she wasn't going to come. No, I could tell reason. she was not going to come. She didn't come. She stood the me up. The minute she said, yeah, that sounds great. Stood me up. You could tell she wasn't going to come. Yep. Way to go, Amanda. Thanks a lot. It was her idea. Was it? It was my idea. <laughs> it she, was your idea. She ditched out on it, so uh, you don't have to worry about she that. She had to get some very important business taken care of, I did. Though. That's what she said. Mm-hmm. Uh, We're going to talk about what business later on. Not sure I believe it. Really? I think she might be uh, pulling on legs. Hmm. Are you pulling our legs, Amanda? I am not. Ooh, look at her face. And I can, show you, I can show you my <laughs> bank statement to prove it. Oh. It's already gone through? Yes. Fast. I would like to see your bank statement. <laughs> would you stop it? No, I don't want to see it. I want to see it. <laughs> Just show it to me. 
showed you have your bank. You carry your bank statement around with you? No, but it's on my phone. Does. Oh, <laughs> of course she does. Look when at my the, bank statement. When, the, when you need to have proof of a story, oh, right. you bring everything that you need. Yeah, okay. You definitely do it. I get it. Yeah, that's what you do. That's so, but you that didn't stop you from day drinking, correct? No, I went out. Uh, well, I had the best day ever. So the uh, the guys from the Alaskan Brewing Company mm-hmm. were here. Uh, so I was tasting some of their beers and then went out to the bar with them. <laughs> Perfect day. I'm so blown away and shocked right Let, now. Let's eat some lunch. Katie was asking. So I called Katie on the way to the bar, mm-hmm. and I said, hey, I'm going to uh, going to the score. I'm going to be hanging out with these guys. And uh, uh, what time is dinner? Because I knew I was making dinner. What time right. do you need me to be home? And she said, uh, we need to eat at 5. Okay. And I said, perfect. Uh, what are we having? And she told me, I said, okay, so I need to be home by 3 o'clock. No problem. I can do that. I'll mm-hmm. see you. And she said, uh, wait, wait, wait. And I said, what? Who else is going? I said, no one. No one else is going. <laughs> Just me and the guys. And she said, no one else from work is going? No. Oh, why are you going? I don't, I don't know. They asked me. They asked me to go. So <laughs> they asked I, me to drink with them. So I'm going. I'm yeah, going. You right. got to go. Uh-huh. We sat out on the little beach there and just had a great day. Uh huh. Real, real nice day. Why didn't you invite Katie to come with you? Because uh, she had the kids. And she did get to come at the end of the day. To pick you to up. To see me, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So she got to come at the end of the day to see me, so that was nice. To pick you up. <laughs> yes, yes. To see me. They, they came to see me. <laughs> to see uh, me into the front seat of the car, the, the end passenger of the day. seat. End of the day, I called and said, hey, I uh, remember where I when I was going to the score? Yeah, why don't you come over here? And she's like, do you need a ride? Said, yeah, I need a ride. Okay. Drove well, I'm over. I'm happy that you called for a ride. I mean, you need to, right? Yes, you can't you be ridiculous. No. <sighs> <sighs> How badly did you need a ride? Uh, not badly, you know. <laughs> Just badly enough. I, it was, uh, it was funny though, because uh, you know, day drinking is a super fun thing to do, and yes. you only do it in the summer. Yes. The, Why is that, by the way? Because it's nice out, and if you're sitting outside in the winter, I mean, that's there's something <laughs> do wrong. Do you with have you. to sit outside to day drink? I feel like you do. Okay. You don't want to be in your house day drinking. Well, you day drink on Sundays in your house because it's football. And True. Saturday, Saturdays True. and Sundays. That's not day drinking. That's drinking to watch a game. <laughs> that, but it's different. during the day, so it is day drinking. Okay. I mean, when I mean when you like the have sole a, purpose a whole, is drinking. You have a whole day of just <laughs> drinking. Uh, you want to do that in the summer. But the uh, the beach mm-hmm. was packed. Was it? Everyone was day drinking. Was nobody yesterday. working yesterday? I don't think so. Huh? People were in suits. People were in like casual clothes. People were Fine. in uniforms. It was crazy. What kind of uniforms? Nurse uniforms. Oh, with hats? No hats. Okay. No, uh, no hats that I saw. Some nurses were there. There were some. Uh, uh, it's like some just young people mm-hmm. enjoying the day. I mean, it was a great oh, day. It was a great day. It was a great day. Yeah. I found something out about Alaska. Uh, yesterday would have been the day that everyone in Juneau, Alaska, talked about for five years. Remember when it was so hot, they would say? You mean if the weather in Alaska were like Grand correct, Rapids last year? Correct. Really? L- like yesterday. Like if yesterday had happened in Juneau, Alaska, they would be what, talking it about it. Ev- well, it doesn't ever hit 80 in Alaska, Never hits right? 80. No. Gosh, can you imagine? They don't see it. I would have the best sweater wardrobe on the face yes. of the earth if we lived in Alaska. Every day you would wear a sweater. I love sweaters. You would wear a sweater every day. I would and, need more. And they would be made of different wools from different animals yeah. that you yourself are the yes. shepherd of. Yes. <laughs> yes. Shave them down and knit. I'd have to learn how to knit. I'll teach you. You don't know how to knit. No, I don't. <laughs> I'll read a we book. We can learn together while we day drink. Yes. Oh, wow. Uh, and there, yes. with all that daylight all half day. the year. Yeah. You get all day of day <laughs> drinking. That's great. Uh, that would be that would be a good time. We are going to be losing an hour and seventeen min- minutes of daylight in this month. It's August first, by the way. Oh, hour and seventeen minutes of daylight going bye bye by the end of the month. Goodbye. Mm-hmm. It's going to be uh, what eight fifty nine? I think the sun goes down tonight. Yeah, and then an hour and seventeen. Cut that in half. That's like eight twenty by the end of the month. Your math is great. Thank you. Uh-huh. I, try to, I try to help You're out. Welcome. Does it lose it from both ends equally? I don't know. I don't know either. That's why I'm asking. I don't know. I'm going to go yes. Rick Mecklenburg did not explain that on the uh, Fox 17 News last night. Tweet him. I don't know how. You got to tweet him. I'll tweet him. You're in charge of Twitter. I'll tweet him. Hey, Rick, what's up? Do we lose it from both ends? Okay. And dear, that's all you should write. Dear Rick. <laughs> All right, I'll ask him, and we'll see. Yeah, just write that. Do we lose it from both ends? And then I'll put in parentheses. He's probably going to be sleeping daylight. for a while, though, because he's on, you know, later on Yeah, in the he, evening. He's on later on in the evening. That's fine, <laughs> So though. he's probably not up right now. Maybe, do you think he does his own Twitter, or do you think he has somebody to do his nah, Twitter? No, I think he does his own. 
Oh. Yeah. He doesn't have a team? Probably not. Like a Twitter team? Probably not. Okay, well, we'll find out. Do we out. have a Twitter team? I feel like we do. Amanda and the interns, they do a good job back there. No, they don't. Twittering. <laughs> when was the last time you tweeted anything? From our account? Yeah. Mm. Guess. Just guess. <laughs> See? I don't even have a guess. See? See? Wait. Ask, See? ask her if she knows the password. Do you know the password? I do. I have it written down. Yeah. Ask her if she knows it. Do you know it by Not heart? Not by heart, no. No. Because <laughs> <laughs> Curtis handles Twitter. <laughs> It just auto logs me in. Mm-hmm. When and that, that's it. Log in every day. That's what you want to do. Yeah, auto log can, in to everything. We can be hacked. So if Including you wanna, your bank account that you should probably print out so Curtis can see what I it do want to go over some of those numbers just to make sure that what you're saying is true. We'll find out about Amanda's horrible day. We yes. got the movie passes. We do. Friday. Lottery tickets. We got a new game that starts out today since it's August 1st. Neon 9. I know. It sounds fun. Sounds like a winner to it me. Does. All right, 617 now. Connie and Curtis. <laughs> 629 at Channel 95.7 with Connie and Curtis. Friday morning. Woo-hoo. It's August. Super excited about it. You made it to another month. We have one month until school starts. The kids will be out of your hair. They'll be gone. See ya. Bye-bye. Adios. It's my brother's birthday today. Happy birthday, brother. All of our birthdays are like smooshed all together. What happened nine months before? Is it your dad's birthday? My dad starts it out at June 28th. Okay. And then my brother John is July 29th. My mom is July 30th. My brother Mark is, oh no, my sister's in there too at July 7th. Okay, so what happens around Thanksgiving that gets you guys, uh, gets you guys? Uh, But I was adopted, so I don't figure into that equation. Right. Mine's August 11th. Mine finishes it. You are the last one. My dad starts it. I finish it. And everyone is right there within a two-month period. Within five weeks. That's crazy. Six weeks, yeah. Is that why they picked you? Because your birthday yes, fit right in. That is absolutely this. why they picked me. Okay. Yeah, because you couldn't have had like a February birthday. No, you want to hear a cool story? I do. Here's a cool story about me being adopted. So back then, and they adopted me through Catholic Social Services. Okay. Okay. So back then, I, I don't know how they do it now, but they would show up at your house unannounced. The social worker would just come by. They talked to, I have three siblings. Okay. John, Mark, and Teresa. They're right. all, what, six, seven, and eight years older than me. So they talked to all of them. They, this is before you're adopted? This is before I'm adopted. Okay. And then they show up one day, or they call one day and say, we have a child ready for you. Wow. So the day they called and told my parents that they had a child ready, yeah. they were literally, the whole family was in the car. My mom was grabbing the last minute stuff. Okay. They were going on a camping trip. Okay. And she's locking and closing the door as the phone starts boing, ringing. Boing. So she runs in, answers the phone. Hello? It's the social worker, and she says, we have your daughter. And my mom goes, oh, my gosh, I was just running out the door. We're going on a camping trip. We'll cancel it. And the social worker said, no. Go camping. You cannot disrupt the family. You don't want resentment from the other kids because this is their vacation. And it's your last chance to have fun before you get a baby. (laughs) Right. (laughs) So they leave and go on the camping trip. Okay. And where are you sitting then? Just in a bassinet on the porch? I'm in foster care at this point. Somebody's watching over you. They go for a week. Okay. They come back. Yes. They get a call, I think within that next week, saying, we have another daughter for you. What? So that original girl. They passed on a they, baby. They, it wasn't you. I don't think, it wasn't me. Okay. Isn't that crazy? That is crazy. So then they ended up getting me. God was smiling on you that day, my <laughs> I, friend. I know. <laughs> but if they would have canceled their camping trip, if they would have allowed it them to do that. It wouldn't have been you. I would have gone to some other family. That is. Isn't is, that a crazy story? That is crazy. It's almost weird, too weird to believe. That is so weird. I know. That's like, uh, do you ever think about weird things that happen in your life that uh, if one thing had changed, yes. like your whole life would be different? Yes. For instance, the reason that I went to my first job in radio, mm-hmm. that I even applied for it, was that that city was in the news that day. And I was at school, and we had to cold call uh, people and okay. I thought it would be funny to call this city because it had just been in the news and it was not for a good thing. Okay. So it was a bad thing in the news and I called and I I was telling the the woman who would later become my boss mm-hmm. um, that I saw the bad press you're getting and I don't think it's fair and I want to come down and I want to be a part of the city. All just a joke to make everyone in the room laugh. Were you day drinking? No, no. I we were okay. at school. Okay. Uh, so just as a joke to make the room laugh, like I'm calling and just totally pleading for this job and like right. pouring my heart out and I feel so bad for you and your city mm-hmm. and uh, get the job and then I met Katie. Like and now my family Crazy. exists. So if that had not been in the news that day, uh-huh. or if I had not wanted to make a room full of people laugh, wouldn't have gone there. Yeah. Ridiculous. That's how I always feel about when I graduated from high school and I went to Central. 
Um, I lasted one semester and I quit. Okay. And then I went back to my parents and worked two jobs, went to Oakland Community College. Awesome. And then went back to Central five years later and finished. And had I not gone back to Central, I would have either been a court reporter. Right. Had I never quit Central the first time, I would have, uh, I don't know, I was a psychology major. Yes. So I would have never gotten into radio. I know. Ridiculous. If I wouldn't have quit. So I always say to my parents, see? See, good thing I good thing <laughs> I left. Because they did not want me to quit school. Good thing obviously. I left. Mm-hmm. When I uh, I lived in Colorado, remember I, I lived in Colorado yep. for a while, yep. and the only reason I came back to the Midwest mm-hmm. is my car broke down, and I had to right. I had to sell it to the car dealer and oh. say you can have it for junk, and I bought a, a U-Haul and left. Crazy, isn't it weird? Could have still been there. Out? Things work out. Mm-hmm. Amanda, what is something quirky that has happened <laughs> in your life? I in don't your know. Short twenty-four years. <laughs> well, I left like when I was working with you guys. Mm-hmm. I left that company and didn't really have anything to do with it for a year before you called me again That's and asked true. me to come here. You mm-hmm. needed to get you needed to get clean. And aren't you so glad you did come here? I am very happy. Coming here is the best. I mean, you wouldn't have been able to meet Nick. That's true. None That's of true. us would have met Nick. We wouldn't have even met Nick oh, ever. I know. Thank God. We'd have been fine with that. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thanks, guys. No, I wouldn't would have been not. fine with that. Curtis may have been fine I mean, with that. Meet, meet Nick is cool. We- <laughs> meet Nick is cool. It's yeah. all right. Yeah, Nick's an all right guy. I mean, that's probably- How many what- beards would you have known without me? That's true. I don't know anyone with a beard other than Nick. Oh, nobody? No. no. Zero. Nick, Nick is the one Zero person people. who has a beard. Mm. So I, uh, that's true. Hmm. Well, I'm thankful we met you. Cool. <laughs> Cool, he says. Cool. Not, I am too. <laughs> <laughs> he, he's not reciprocating. If you're noticing that, uh, not doing, you know what we should do? We should give away some movie passes. Oh, sweet. Which movie do you want to give Free away? Free Flick Friday. To? Which movies do we have? Guardians uh, of the we've Galaxy. Got we have. Get on up. And Guardians of the Galaxy. All right, seven seven zero eight ninety five seven five pack of tickets to Get On Up. It's that James Brown movie. You're going to love it. And there's James Brown right there. James Brown. Get on up. 778-957-5-PACK if you are calling numero 10. Celebration Cinema, kind enough, every Friday to give us tickets to go see movies. You know what? Let's do uh, 10 and 11. Let's. I'm feeling pretty generous. Callers 10 and 11 right now, 778-957. Get on up. Get on up. Get on up. I need that song. I want, I, now I kind of want to hear that song. Okay. Maybe at noon. I mean, it's so Friday. Wendy can play it for you. Wendy won't play it. No. <laughs> no. Because it's not from the the 90s. Or the early 2Ks or the 80s. What, what? <laughs> it's not from any of those. The throwback lunch. All right. You said callers 10? 10 and 11. 7, 7, 8, 9, 5, 7. Get on up. It's a movie you're going to go see at Celebration Cinema. Who is this? Chris. Hi, Chris. Chris. Hi. Hi. We got you a, a five-pack of tickets to Get On Up at Celebration Cinema. Sounds like fun. Awesome. All right, hold on, Chris. We got to go grab caller 11 right now. Connie and Curtis, who is this? Sarah. Sarah. Hi, Sarah. You're going to get on up. Oh, cool. Yeah, super cool. Get on up. Get on up. We got those tickets for it. We're going to put you on hold to get some information. Oh, tight, Sarah Barra. We got more get on up passes. We got Guardians of the Galaxy passes. We got uh, Michigan lottery tickets. We're busy today. We are very busy today. Very busy We have to talk about what happened to Amanda yesterday, why she wasn't able to go out and hang out with Curtis all day long. The one time I extended (sighs) the invitation. She stiffed me. The one time, Amanda. <laughs> won't happen the one again. Time. I won't be burned again. It's almost been two years that you've been waiting I for know. that invitation. I know, and of course, that I means had. Probably like May of 2016 is the next time you're going to get Possibly. one. Possibly. Maybe. Or probably never again. Maybe Memorial Day 2017. <laughs> Memorial Day 2017. I'll hang out with her. <laughs> Put that what is happening on Memorial Day? I'm hanging out with Amanda. Hopefully she's got some uh, hot dogs and brats and uh, <laughs> burgers, maybe some potato salad. You got to make sure you're always stocked, Amanda. I am, and I'm always ready for Curtis to come over. Coleslaw. I'm looking for coleslaw. Even right now, he could go day. over to my house. Looking for like a fruit salad. You want to um, go to her house right now? Yeah, I'll go right now. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we might be a little busy right now. I'm a little... I, and then I, he's leaving for the weekend. Yeah, he's got a class right, reunion right. to go to. I'm not really free now. I appreciate the offer, though. But no, uh, Memorial Day 2017 will hang. <laughs> okay, <laughs> sounds good. I'll mark it, it on I'll, the calendar. I'll pencil you. All right, 83 is the high today. We got sunshine and 62 right now. 638. Connie and... There's no going Katie back. Perry on Channel 95.7. Oh, speaking of Katy Perry...
Ooh, ooh, you want to go to the uh, Channel 95.7 Facebook page right now. Okay, yeah. so it's Facebook, and then you type in Channel 95.7. It's and, Channel 95.7, and just you, so you know. And you go there, and then you'll <laughs> see a Katy Perry tab. Now, it only happens if you're on a computer. doesn't work on your smartphone. doesn't yep. work on your iPad. Yep. It only is on a computer. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then you click, and you enter to win tickets in the reflection section. That's where Katy Perry looks at you, sings to you, laughs at you. Smiles with you. So the show the is a week from Sunday. Yes, it is. So you can be there. It's awesome. Uh, now you're going to the show, but you're not sitting in the reflection section. Are I don't you? think so. Well, I'm going to sign up because this is a <laughs> this is a good contest. I don't think you can. Well, I signed up already, so hopefully, I, I mean, I can. Yeah, all you do is you just enter enter your uh, information right there on the Facebook page. So I did that. Um, so you got to do that this weekend. Yeah, Monday we announced the winner, but you got to do it today, tomorrow, or Sunday. Mm-hmm. You need to do it this weekend online at the, the Facebook page for Channel Nine Five Seven. Nine. Five, seven. Did you see the uh, the little Twitter war between Tampa Bay and Detroit yesterday? No. So big trade goes down. Yeah, I saw that. And the uh, Tigers get David Price. Okay, so uh, he's a pitcher. He's going to be. Which we're be happy about that, right? We're very happy about that. We feel good about it. We now have uh, like the top three pitchers, arguably, in the American mm-hmm. League. Okay. Wasn't he a Cy Young Award winner? Or yes, something? we have the last yeah. three Cy Young Award yeah. winners, so that's pretty cool. So, uh, uh, Tampa Bay's Fox station tweets out a picture, side by side picture of Detroit, which is a rundown old building, mm-hmm. and a beach, which says Tampa, and says, Good luck, David. Okay? okay. That's their tweet. Fox 2 over in Detroit mm-hmm. then gets a picture of uh, Comerica Park filled with. To the brim with fans <laughs> and Tampa's park with like eight fans in it. <laughs> and tweet- every time I watch a game, yeah. a Tampa game, seriously, there's nobody no there. there. No one there. Nobody and, there. And they tweet that back. That's okay. Funny. So then uh, <laughs> the Tampa Bay Fox station tweets out a picture of Ron Burgundy holding a beer and goes, "Well, that ex- escalated quickly." Uh-huh. And uh, then they say, uh, "Fair enough." So it's blowing up all over the world now. These two TV stations fighting over which city is better. Tampa or Detroit. I mean, we we made it. Sports Illustrated. That's very hilarious. fancy. So yeah, they got it. They they tried to make a joke, mm-hmm. and the Detroit station said, "All right, we'll make a joke right with you." No Nobody kidding. got mad. Nobody got offended. Uh-huh. Just a, it's a little fun playing. Uh huh. Love it. That is awesome. Isn't it funny? And we got him. So exactly. <laughs> we lost a, a white cap though. I saw that. You see that? We lost our shortstop. Where did he go? Didn't he? They traded him. to Seattle. Yeah. So Seattle, Tampa, and Detroit all in the trade. And I think, yeah, I think our shortstop went to Seattle. Mm Mm-hmm. Our little guy, like here in West Michigan, West Michigan Whitecap. (laughs) Our little guy. (laughs) Gone. I mean, not a little guy, but he is, he's he's like ours. I know. We don't like it when they trade our guys. (sighs) It's all right. But. Yeah. We would like to win a World Series. We would like another to, we World would Series. like to win another World we Series. We would. And I if, would. If we have to do it at the expense of one West Michigan white cap, <laughs> so be it. Hey, that's the way the world works, that's right? The way the cookie crumbles. It is. And it's a business. They know. It like, is a business. It's not and maybe he'll come back. I always wonder about professional athletes if they like do they really live in the places that they play? Do they buy no, giant homes and, and really like put down roots, so I to speak? I believe that they rent. Okay. So there are like mansions right. for rent. Okay. And really? e- either the team... Why would you rent out your mansion? Because you want to have a baseball player living in your house okay. or a football player. Right. Now, some will live in the spot. Like if you are uh, probably Matt Stafford uh-huh. probably has a house that right. he actually spends the right. season and and does that. But, but how I, do you know if you're going to be the one that is traded oh, and, right. and moving around all the time or Absolutely. if you're going to spend your whole career? Well, look at LeBron. So LeBron had a house in Cleveland right. and now has another house in Cleveland. So Which made sense because he grew up in Cleveland. Right. So I understand that one but when lebron moved to miami i mean i definitely saw news clips of him in his house and it looked fabulous right but i think i don't know that he owned that house because when you the, make that much money beach. you can buy all those houses willy you don't nilly. even care you no. pay cash yeah you pay cash right. like the neverland ranch you could buy for 60 million dollars where michael Christ. jackson and his monkey lived and a giraffe <laughs> and his elephant and a, there's a roller coaster okay can we talk about giraffes for a minute yeah. Did you see that story on Facebook yesterday about a giraffe that lost its head? Just the, remember Hangover 3, yes. I think it was. Yes, Hangover 3 where the giraffe 
Lost the exact no, I didn't. same way. And no. I don't know if it's... Yes, Google it. Seriously. No way. And I don't know if it's a fake story. It has to be. Or if it's a real story. But it def- I, I didn't click on it because I was afraid I was going to get all spammed It out. has to be fake. Supposedly there was a giraffe riding down in an okay, open-air container. I, I just wrote giraffe decapitation. And I got hangover three is the only thing that comes up. So it must have been a fake story. Must have been. New York Daily News. You've got the actual story? If you trust New York Daily News, draft dies after its head slams him to Highway Bridge in South Africa. Oh. Isn't that horrible? Uh, ouch. I know, because whoever it was who reposted that story yeah. said, didn't they watch Hangover 3? And I was like, this has got to be fake. They have not seen Hangover 3 in uh, in South Africa. I didn't know it was in South Africa. <laughs> no one's watching that. wasn't that. in the headline. I got to hear disturbing pictures. I got pictures right before it happened. Yeah, someone tweeted. Look how low that no bridge is and how tall way. those drafts are. Who thought is that fake? this one through? I wish I hadn't seen this. This that has to be fake. I can't. Well, no. no, it's oh before that there's has two giraffes. To be, that has yeah, to be fake. Yeah, that's the picture that I saw. They're in like a semi no with no top. Way. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, no. it depends on if you trust that news source. I guess. I saw a truck transporting two giraffes at 11:45 this morning. The truck was just before an off ramp. The giraffes were blindfolded, so they couldn't see the bridges. It, blindfolded. Exactly. Why it's would got, you blindfold a giraffe? And who cares if and a giraffe sees a bridge? A giraffe with a very tall ladder. That's I, true. I, I was a, a cherry picker. Bang a cherry picker. <laughs> and blood. Oh, I don't believe that this story is real. I know. Calling, that's what I. That's what I was thinking. I'm calling no fake way. on this story because just the picture of the two giraffes in the little totally giraffe looks car, photoshopped. Absolutely looks photoshopped. Okay, no good. Way. And well, it's the only like I googled giraffe loses head on Google yeah. and hit news, and that's the only story. I'm on yeah. Metro, um, which is a UK site. Cannot be real. Good. Well, I'm glad then. That I mean, makes maybe me happy. it is, but because I only be... saw it once, and usually you see something like that 50 times. Wouldn't in that your be newsfeed? all over the place? You would think so. Buzzfeed's reporting it too. That really? it's real. Yeah, and that one of them died, and the second one was taken to a clinic. How would one even live? Well, so they weren't decapitated. They hit their head. It didn't Point. knock their heads oh. off. Maybe they were going slow. Maybe. Maybe it did happen, and they went slow, and they hoped that they ducked. Why would you expect your giraffe to duck? Because they're not dummies. They duck under They're tree blindfolded. branches. Well, I didn't know they were blindfolded at the time. <laughs> How would they know? That's crazy. I know. No, I did not see that story. Now okay, we'll have to wait and day. see. We'll have to wait and see. I was sitting at the score having beers, having a good day, not doing what you're doing, looking at <laughs> giraffe decapitation Reading through stories. the news. Yeah. The news is not fun. Boring. Most of the news is not fun. But then okay, you, but coming up in a few minutes, we have to talk about Amanda's day. Amanda had the worst day. I think Amanda's day. Well, not as bad as that giraffe. No. Not even close. But a bad day. Curtis. <laughs> I mean, that giraffe had a pretty bad day. Pretty bad day. Right. I need that music. I need that song. Giraffe music? So you had a bad oh, day. No, you're for Amanda. Dana, you're talking about, like a giraffe <laughs> song. Not for you the need. giraffe, for Amanda. A giraffe had the All worst right, we're going to tell you what happened to Amanda coming up. Connie and Curtis.